I think when I started at the zoo, I started as a student and I've always been interested in conservation and animals and, and, and working through the zoo and, and in the organisation. Animals are so linked to the environment as well, so although we're doing a lot of great conservation projects uh, and, and focusing on ground hornbills and wattle cranes and amphibians, we also have to look at the bigger picture and that includes climate change as well and the links between our animals and biodiversity and the environment. So we started the zoo's environmental team, it's called Gang Green and it's made up of a whole lot of different staff from different areas, different levels and they're really passionate about the environment. They do stuff at home, they recycle and so they make a lot of recommendations to the managers on how we should be reducing our carbon footprint. So this whole initiative came about with the help of Project 90 by 2030 and um, it's really awesome because it finally gives the zoo a little bit more of a different focus, so we're not just focusing on animals, we're also focusing on educating people on sustainable energy and, and how we can use it. The first initiative we have is our biogas digester and uh, we decided to install the biogas digester quite close to our current restaurant and we use a lot of the waste from the restaurant to fill the biogas digester and we also supplement it with some of our animal feces mostly from the farmyard because it seems like our cows have the best bacteria for it and then what happens is the gas is piped back to the restaurant to one of the burners so in essence we will be cooking our visitors food on on the biogas and the idea is to make people aware that that waste can be turned into something useful the second initiative is our large solar panel currently it feeds into our grid um, and it supplements about four kilowatts every hour into our grid depending on the, the sun and how much uh, energy we generate but in the long run, we're hoping that our education centre will be able to run with the solar panel. We have lots of retrofitting to do to make our area a carbon neutral area. The solar installation is used to charge our electric golf carts, which are solar powered carts, um, that we've included in this initiative to showcase to the public that uh, you can actually have a completely renewable based form of transport. The solar power golf carts uh, each have a 100 watt panel on the roof. So when driving around or when parked in the sun, it actually charges a battery within the golf cart instead of having to, to use power from your electrical power output. The golf carts are being used to take guests and visitors around. Uh, this adds a little fun aspect to the whole thing. This demonstration site is really a new talking point for our visitors. We've got 500,000 visitors a year. Now they've got something new to see and it's really created a little bit of a buzz and that people are starting to think about what kind of projects they can do at home, even if it is on a small scale. They can start their recycling, they can install a small solar panel and by demonstrating the sites and, and how effectively they work and what they look like, we can start to actually live the conservation message ourselves. We can start to make a difference. We're reducing our carbon footprint and we can encourage our visitors and our staff to do the same because they can see the projects in action. So it's reminding everyone that, that animals are linked to the environment, to climate change, and it's really just one big web and we, we're all just part of this big web. So hopefully we can start to make a change now.